Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is chapter 3, Return to the Mega Vents on Hard. As I said, I'm going to show you uh, the game on hard, not normal, because it's the hardest available difficulty from the start. I just want to prove to you that I'm playing through each stage on hard. So yeah, no one can say, Oh, would you change the difficulty for the... No, no, I didn't. I'll always keep it on hard. This game is not that hard. So, this is actually one of my favorite stages in the game. Uh, so we're going down this elevator here. It's so, getting kind of dark and spooky. Um, I don't think it's safe. I mean, come on, this is a horror game. There's a service Haven't you guys ever played a horror it's game before? Uh, it's never safe in a horror game. She looks scared, and uh, if I were her, I would be too. So uh, let's just take a look around here. What is this gooey stuff? Hold it right there. Hey! hey. I'm on your side. I'm, yeah, tell it to my gun. Oh, dang it, it jammed. Oh, well. They're on our tail. What? They keep it down. They'll hear us. Oh, poopers. You mean they're down here? What? Ah, oh, poop! Shoot the legs first, then the arms. You know the deal. Well, leg, arm, then head. Oh, poop. Stasis this one. Oops, there we go. And uh, yeah, look at that, he's just like floating in midair. What's that? Plasma cutter ammo. I will take that. I will take that for a thousand, please. And did I see something off to yeah, the left over there? Okay, we gotta weld Get something to that uh, vent there. Uh, again, if you don't do this in time, it's gonna be a one-hit kill, so get ready to weld, and quickly, boink, and boink, there we go. There's another one, gotta weld two spots on this one. There's another two-spot one here, like so, whoops, I missed that one, whoopsie. <laughs> There's another two, yeah, you get the idea. Just make sure that your Wii Remote is pointed sideways to charge it up, and you should be good to go, as long as you stay in a good rhythm. It's pretty easy to keep a rhythm when you're charging up and shooting things. Just charge as you're aiming for the next shot and you should be good. Weapon upgrade! Woo! Wait, no back. What, what's that? Oh, it's a message log. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Like I said, I'm not going to be really reading these because I've read them before. And if you want to read them, just pause the video. It wastes more time than it's worth. What the heck was that? Can I... Oh, there we go. I can grab that. I can grab this. Boop! Is that all? I think that's all. I don't know if that's all. Uh, see this gooey stuff here? The hell is this stuff? It smells like vomit. How long has it been? You like need this? to cut it with the melee attack. You know, by shaking the nunchuck. Just wanted to say that. And it's very smelly. So uh, yeah, just saying. Oh poopers! I missed the bat. Oh well. Yeah. I think. No, wait. You can't shoot that. Well, no. Maybe you can shoot that bat. I'm, I might be thinking of something else. But anyway. We're down here, we're cutting up some uh, nasty Jesus stuff, is. whatever the heck that oh, is, that smells like vomit. Jesus, I thought I'd lost you. If we hadn't been inside the shuttle, we'd be toast. It's a wreck though. We won't be flying anywhere in it. Where are you? We're in a megabed, heading to the Sector 8 maintenance bay. There's a shuttle we can use. But we sealed off the entrance here. Can you find another route? Man, I hope so. Best such. See you there. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to wander around here aimlessly then until we find the way out. You know, just like most horror games. And somehow we survive along the way. So, uh, yes, that was a joke. I'm not hating on horror games or anything like that. I love horror games. So as you can see, there's a bunch of dead bodies here. And Oh, come on, this is a horror game. They gotta come back to life. Don't be silly. So I'm just gonna charge up a shot here, just to be sure. And, uh, you know, Wait. Just, uh, just to get myself ready for something that might occur. They were just drunk. There, there's no dementia here. Curse that space, Mardi Gras. Dementia. Interesting. Why? We've all seen what she was talking about. Indeed. Mm. So uh, anyway, it's time to uh, move on a little bit now. He's right. Sometimes I think this None game focused, like, because yes. it's a rail shooter, and, and it's and, uh, completely all automated and stuff like that, in terms of, like, storyline and stuff like that, it's got a lot of times where the story takes quite a while, and it feels like it can drag on. 
But otherwise, I think the story does add to it as long as it's not too, too overdone, so to speak, at a time. You know, like, there, there shouldn't be too much discussion, so to speak, and it should be more emphasis on the action, or at least in my opinion. But, I do think this is a good game, as I said before, otherwise I wouldn't be playing it. I mean, come on, PK Gam only plays the good stuff. Anyway, charged rivet gun shots are pretty powerful, I, I would like to add, so it's a good idea to charge sometimes for some enemies, because they can sometimes kill them in one hit. And uh, there goes a the train, just uh, keep that in mind there, because uh, they're actually going to be using that those kinds of trains for some scares along the way. Hey, can I pick that up? I, I I've seen something shine over there that I thought I could pick up, but never mind. Anyway, anyway, I think something's gonna crawl up. There we go. That's what I was charging for. I knew something was gonna crawl up on this scaffolding here. And uh, there we go. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of surprises on this area, which is partly why I like it so much. And I completely missed that. And, it, and he was just like right in my face. That was like the worst shot I ever shot ever. Just saying. And there we go. Oh, fast one, fast one, stasis. There we go. Oh, it actually hit me anyway. Oh, man! I forgot to mention, those guys, uh, the ones with their tails, how much faster they are, they've got, like, just two arms and a tail. Uh, what you want to try to do is take out an arm, then the, then the tail, and then a head, if you can. It's pretty okay. difficult to do that, but been quiet ever since you if you can do that, you'll pretty yeah, much fine. never, ever just take a hit from them. But, yeah, it's, as I said, difficult to do that, because they're so quick, and there's, they're, very, they're like very fidgety and hard to aim at precisely. So what you might actually want to try to do is hit, aim for the head, and then while it's stunned, then go for an arm and then the tail. That's another alternate method. But, yeah, that's just my advice here. Over here, uh, there's going to be a split path. Yeah, that was supposed to scare you, by the way. Um, or at least I think it was. Can I open these? Yes, I can! Plasma cutter ammo, I can't open that. Um, pistol ammo. And now there's gonna be a choice of paths. Now you, you point at one, and then you choose the way you want to go. I'm gonna choose this path here. It's act it's gonna lead to a dead end, you guys but it's there. it's gonna have some stuff that I can pick up, like some ammo and other things like that. The other way is pro progress, if you just want to go ahead. But I think it's worth it going this way, because there's only one thing that's going to be standing in your, in your way. So, uh, just cut your way through this nastiness here, or whatever the heck that is. It's like some bloody flesh hanging across there, and uh, that thing looks awfully suspicious over here. Hmm. Oh, no! I didn't see that coming! Okay, yeah, I did. But I, I, I didn't shoot quick enough. There goes the arm. Oh, there goes... I mean, excuse me, there goes the leg, then the arm, then the head. Man, I'm getting my limbs mixed up. So anyway, that was your first obstacle, and the second one is not that hard at all. It's just another one of those, like, welding things here. Yeah, you just do this little puzzle here, you just gotta time yourself not to get hit by, uh, by the electricity there, or just screw it up all over the place and bleed all over the screen obnoxiously, like I'm doing. And, oh poop, I mistimed that. I thought I only did it once. Oh, well. I'm just being a little too hasty there, instead of watching the pattern first, like you should be doing. So, uh, weapon upgrade, message log, which you can check here if you'd like to. blah dee blue blue boo as I said, pause it or rewind if you want to see what it is. And that's all that's there. As, as you can see, weapon upgrades, definitely worth it if you see them. Pick up anything that's blue. What did you find? It's clear. It's clear, it's full of weapons, I could use them. Anyway, let's go down here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now we're good. It's climbing on down here. It's uh, quite the drop off over here, I have to say. Always remember, down is death, people. Oh, I accidentally hit the button there. I got a shaky trigger finger, I guess, there. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to be had over here just yet. So, uh, you just gotta cut through this, whatever that's coming through there. I mean, when we go through there. Well, they're here. Watch your 20, Hutchins. We're in the half corridors. There's some kind of foreign substance all over. It's like, like meat growing out of the wall. Mmm, delicious. Looks like we're having some steak tonight. I hope it's tenderloins. We've hardly encountered anything. I think we're being watched, but that's all. Let's hope it stays that way. 
Yeah, I hope so as well. Actually, I don't, because that would be kind of boring. So let's cut through there, and now the events start happening. So let's charge up a shot. Hello there. Oh, that was a pretty bad shot again. I'm going to stasis you and uh, kill that one. Shoot your leg, then the arm, then the head as you're falling. Awesome sauce, and let's just jump across this very safe-looking scaffolding over here and uh, pick up some ammo here. What is this over here? It's a uh, pulse rifle. This is a good rifle. It's like an automatic machine gun, basically. Uh, it's like this. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Oops. It's, it's a bit slower to recharge, but it's so fast that it pretty much stuns enemies as you hit them with it. Because, and you can take on a lot of enemies at once with it, but conserve your ammo for it because, well, it's automatic and it burns ammo really quickly. It's like that with any am ammunition. Holy poopers! What the heck? Shoot the thing! There we go. I saved you, Lexine. Go pick her up. Holy poopers! Hey, let go of her! Hey, stop that! No, and uh, you have to shoot this guy. Yeah, you have to shoot your comrade in order to make him drop her. Sorry, guy, but I have to shoot you. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sorry about that, man. I don't care about you. I was. Never mind. Oh. There's no point in fighting those things if we just get to fight amongst ourselves, too. That's true. So yeah, that was a that was a kind of uh, disturbing moment there. I have to say, shooting your own comrade to save another. Yeah, just saying. Those things can fly. We can't! Which makes this game even more awesome! So just wait around here. Oh wait, I can pick the, I mean, I can break these. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give can I shoot? Oh, I see something there! Can I pick that up? Get it out of the way? Get out of the way? Nothing? Nothing? Okay. That was all I could get over there, I guess. Oh, I can pick up this! Yeah! What's this? Nothing. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, I can move things with Kinesis like so, and blah blah blah. Oops. I'm going to... Or you can shoot him, by the way, I forgot to mention. I was gonna fling him off towards something, like, towards the distance there, but eh. Uh, shoot these guys before they uh, start shooting stuff at you. Uh, they like to... I believe these particular guys like to shoot these explosive balls of goo, if that makes any sense. Yeah, this guy comes out of nowhere like that. I got the arm, got the Oh, poopers! Time to, time to change weapons! Need some more power. You gotta go. You definitely gotta go. And there we go. I'm gonna stasis you now that the other one's wearing off like that. And uh, would you look at that? No damage whatsoever. Awesome sauce. See what I mean? Even on, even though this game is on the hardest difficulty you can have it on, this game is still pretty dang easy. <laughs> and uh, that's one of those explosive blobs I was talking about. I should be going back to the uh, rivet gun, like that. Yeah, there we go. Just uh, save my ammo for the uh, other things. Oh, I see a weapon upgrade way in the distance. I see that blue thing glowing there. Can I pick it up? Can I pick it up? Come on. Aw, oh, poopers. I guess I can't pick it up just yet. Uh, you have an, an unreasonable... Uh, I, sh I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say unreasonable. An incredible amount of range with your pickups and stuff like that. You're gonna be stunned, because you're getting kind of close there, dude. And uh, there we go, and that I almost got a cheap shot from that right there, because of the fact that uh, you're going to get stasis, because I can, and uh, I was going to say because uh, the, the camera, when it changed to look at the other enemy, it got a little bit too off the other enemy, so I wasn't able to shoot the other one. So yeah, that's another problem that this game has, is that, ow, is that it allows enemies to get in cheap hits like that. And that, that's that's kind of a downfall in the in a way, but as I said, the game is pretty easy as a whole. I still can't pick that thing up, dang it. <laughs> so I, I guess those cheap hits are okay in a way because you're pretty much gonna survive anyway if you have any experience at shooters whatsoever. Blink. And uh, yeah, you get the idea. So a few hits, I should say, a few cheap hits here and there. Ain't gonna be much of a problem. 